In the 1990s, a quiet teenage boy from Michigan tried something absolutely unbelievable and somehow succeeded. He attempted to build a working nuclear reactor in his mom's backyard shed. His name was David Hahn, but the world would later call him the Radioactive Boy Scout. And trust me, this story sounds like a horror movie, but it's 100% real. David was obsessed with chemistry and nuclear science. Not video games, not sports, radiation. He collected smoke detectors, bulb clocks, lantern mantles, anything with even a drop of radioactive material inside. And he did it all to build a homemade breeder reactor. Something normally found inside government labs, not a suburban garage. But David wasn't playing pretend. He actually succeeded in creating a dangerously radioactive setup. His shed became so contaminated that it triggered federal alarms. When neighbors noticed him sneaking around at night with strange tools and protective gear, they assumed he was just an odd kid. They didn't know he had uranium and thorium hidden in makeshift containers. And they definitely didn't know he was accidentally creating radiation levels thousands of times above normal. Eventually, David's experiments got out of control. His Geiger counter was screaming at him, and he panicked. So he tried to dismantle everything before anyone found out. But it was too late. Police caught him during what they thought was just a simple neighborhood investigation, until they found radioactive materials in his trunk. That discovery triggered a full federal response. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the EPA, and the FBI all descended on his home. They sealed the area, evacuated parts of the neighborhood, and dismantled his mother's shed piece by piece. The cleanup cost $60,000, and the site is still classified as a low-level radioactive waste zone. David never faced major charges. Some say authorities didn't know what to do with a teenager who accidentally built a nuclear reactor. Others say they wanted to keep the story quiet to avoid nationwide panic. But his life never recovered. He struggled for years with mental health, radiation fear, and addiction, and tragically died in 2016 at just 39 years old. It remains one of the strangest, most unbelievable true stories in modern American history. A kid, a backyard shed, and a nuclear reactor 